Hello everybody, and welcome to um, the channel update for June. Uh, it's went up a little bit later than I had planned. I had planned to post it on the 1st, um, but a couple of things came up uh, over on Patreon, and so I wasn't able to immediately <laughs> get to that. I had to uh, check a couple things before I could talk about my patrons and the people that are donating and stuff like that. Um, now that's uh, taken care of, um, I want to go ahead and make an update video for this month as you guys know what's going on. Um, Obviously last month we uh, did Doom and Soul Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, we started a randomized run of that. It's been running about a week now. Um, we did go through my little investigations because uh, Val Fox was still fixing the Soul Silver ROM. And we also of course finished up the uh, 25th anniversary edition of uh, Mother, the first one. And it looks like last month was also when we finished up our Fire Red randomized playthrough, which is pretty awesome. I had a lot of fun with that. I'm really enjoying Soul Silver at the moment. Um, so, the, you know, uh, that's uh, the, what went on last month, of course. Uh, this month we're going to be continuing Doom some more. Um, obviously. Uh, at current I have 26 episodes recorded with 21 uploaded. Uh, 22 will actually go up after this video at 4 o'clock like usual. Um, I'm a little sad that Doom has got been getting like no views the last few days, but what can you do when you only have 131 subscribers? So I'm actually surprised that I have 131 subscribers, but yet I still get like two views and like no views. And seems like I get like 10 views or so. Something like that. Like at least a third of that. I'm only getting like two or three people. But that's alright. We'll work on it. <laughs> so, but we are continuing Doom. Uh, we're going to continue Doom all the way up until it's over, which will probably be somewhere around the 30 episode mark, um, considering where we are in the game. Um, we're also, of course, doing Soul Silver. That's probably going to take a couple of months, to be honest, to get through. Um, uh, that's right, this is my Pokemon folder. Soul Silver randomized. <laughs> like I said, I've got eight recorded, which is already what's up. Um, but, you know, that's whatever. Um, so, like I said, that's the, uh, the current plan. Um, we're probably going to move on to something else afterwards, obviously. Um, not entirely certain what yet. Um, I'll probably be posting a poll up on Patreon as soon as Doom is done that will ask, you know, what uh, should I do next? And what I'm thinking of is probably like maybe Earthbound or there's this really good game, really good RPG called Quest 64, uh, it's also referred to as Holy Magic Century in some places. It's actually pretty good, um, but that's a personal opinion. Um, you can see here that I've got a few things that I want to do, like uh, Mario Kart 64, Majora's Mask 3D, things. Um, my nephew and I wanted to do Skylanders. I wanted to do Star Fox Zero. Never got much of it recorded. Um, I still need to finish uploading these. <laughs> I have 29 episodes of Undertale that I need to get uploaded because we did finish the series. I just have been too lazy to do the editing and so I haven't gotten them uploaded. <laughs> That's all. Um, not that it really matters that much. I don't think Undertale is getting many views to begin with. So, eh, what can you do? Um, but those are the current plans for this month. 
Um, one thing I would like to note is um, the the first episode of each series. Um, the more likes that has on it, the more likely that it's going to get found in the YouTube search engines. Um, right now, Pokemon Soul Silver has a whopping zero likes, even though I know that three people have viewed it. Um, so, I mean, maybe going back to like the first episodes of some of these series, like Soul Silver, MLI, Doom, Mother One. Um, you know, putting likes. Now, I know that like a lot of people be like, oh, you know, you're gonna just, you're just telling me that I gotta like the videos, such as whatever YouTuber does. It's true though. It it helps out the channel. Um, likes are basically how YouTube determines whether your videos are worth putting up on their algorithm. And so if a video has no likes, like pretty much every video here on my channel, um, we end up with 131 subscribers after two years. And I mean, it just really does help a lot to get more likes on the videos. Um, so the, the more likes that a video has you know, this one has one like, has 16 views, but then of course this one has zero likes and has 11 views. And this is Skyward Sword, which is a uh, copyright content because it's Legend of Zelda. Um, but I mean, like I said, the more likes, the better. Uh, this is another one I want to do, uh, King's Quest. The, uh, the second episode of King's Quest is out, and so I really want to do that one. Um, so... We'll have to think about it. Um, to help kind of show you the whole likes and stuff thing though, if I go here, um, you'll see that at the moment, my number one video that has been watched is uh, the mod instruction video on one of the mods that I made myself. Um, that is currently my most watched video uh, this month, I think. Um, I guess it doesn't show like the amount of likes it has, but like the amount of views it has. Um, I think there's even a way to like, that's not it, to like find out like how many likes something has. I mean apparently my most liked video is Soul Silver, uh, which is a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but anyway, um, the more likes that the video has, the more likely it is to be seen. And the more likely that the videos are to be seen, the more the, the higher chance of people, you know, watching. Like, you know, here we've had a whole whopping what one subscriber here in May? Two? Two subscribers in May? Okay. I'm a little confused because it said April down here, so I think this is just showing like this. It's like whoop, whoop, you know, one here, one there. And like back here, we had subscribers going up and down back in April. Um, like I said, liking videos really does help. Um, if you're gonna like a video, I would recommend going after the the first of a series so that people are able to see that first, watch it, things like that. Um, but this is another series I want to continue. Rhythm Thief. I haven't published any of those in a long time. I mean, it's probably got 62 views just this month. <laughs> so I mean, there's a thing for you. Maybe I should uh, actually pay attention to my analytics. I know that's not how many views it has. I mean, it has 26 views this month. That's how many minutes have been watched. 282 minutes watch time of my YouTuber mod. Um, like I said, that's just, you know, helpful. I know I keep saying it, but I don't know how, what else to say and how else to say it. You know, it really, really just helps. <laughs> so, 
Now, if you guys could maybe you know go back to some of those first the first videos in each of the series that you liked, like if you enjoyed the Fire Red and if you enjoyed the Soul Silver, you know, go back and like that for me, so that we can hopefully get you know some more subscribers in, some more people watching. And the more people that watch, the more time I can put into the videos, and the more time, therefore, um, you know, the, the higher quality your videos are. I may actually get to editing videos, that sort of thing, because I'll actually have the time to do it. Right now, I'm balancing three jobs, counting YouTube as a technical job, quote unquote, even though I don't really make any money off it. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm juggling, like I said, I'm juggling three uh, quote-unquote jobs. The, the two are actual jobs that I get paid for, but this one is a job that I don't get paid for. And so because I don't get paid for it, I don't focus on it quite as heavily. And so I don't produce, you know, as quality content as I probably could. I don't do, like, the editing. And sometimes I forget to go back and fix thumbnails when the video glitches out and doesn't let me put thumbnails and stuff like that. So, just a thought though. Um, however, if you don't really feel like liking videos, if you don't really feel like watching with your ad block off, things like that, um, you can come over here to Patreon. Uh, Pat here on Patreon, I offer, as I say in I think every video, cool perks. Um, and personally, I do think these are pretty cool. Um, I mean, you might think otherwise, but I think they are pretty cool myself. Um, so the, the way Patreon works, you have your goals, which are your, like, group milestones. Um, every, it, it counts everybody's donation. And this is the reward that you get at the end of the month for, you know, that particular, or for everybody's collected donations altogether. Um, for example, if I had, you know, $25 per month coming in from, say, five people, like I had at the beginning of the month, um, then I would have this little perk here going on. Uh, $25 a month if I reach that goal. Every month at the start of the month I will post a poll of which Versami God, those are gods that I have created specifically for D&D, um, that people want me to write out. Uh, I'll then write out all the information for that particular god and post it by the end of the month. I'll probably post it on my DeviantArt maybe make a video about it, um, probably post it on like a blog or something like Tumblr or something like that. Um, if I manage $50 a month, um, well, as I say, I, we all know that I suck horribly at updating my stories. I, um, I haven't updated a story in months. And at this point, it would push me to want to keep myself focused on writing them. Um, because, you know, $50 a month is really nice for writing a story. Um, so I would do my best. In fact, I would probably force myself to update either one story of mine and get, like, a chapter up or, like, a chapter of a D&D &D campaign or something like that. And I would do that literally twice a month. Basically, every other week, um, something like that would go up. So, if you enjoy my writing and you really want to see me write more, that is one way to help out. Come in, donate. Uh, I mean, you don't have to supply $50 a month yourself. You know, it's only $30 until we reach that goal. If you want to donate $5, then I mean, $5 gets you this little perk here. This will, will have reached that goal. And, um, I mean, what? Six people donate five dollars? <laughs> I mean, it's not that much when you think about it. Six people donate five dollars, and there you go. You've got uh, me updating my stories not just once a month, twice a month. That's right, twice. 
And it's not just like, oh, with this, I'll just update a story once every month. No, I'm actually going to update twice a month. In fact, if we can get it to 150, then I'll be doing it literally every single week. Every single week there will be a story, there will be a D&D campaign, something that goes up that, you know, the every single week. Um, that would be awesome if, I, if we could reach that because that would really motivate me to write. Um, I may even let people start seeing the, uh, the novel that I'm working on. Um, start posting that kind of stuff up once we hit that $50 goal, things like that. Um, so maybe that's an idea. Again, you don't have to donate the whole 150 yourself. You know, we could donate $5 a month, and then enough people donate $5 a month, and we got 150 At $300, this is mostly for my webcomic that I do, Life of Alexis Perkins. Which, if you haven't seen that yet, it's lifeofalexisperkins.com. Um, at this particular goal, we will be making enough money that we're no longer dependent on the ads from the Smack Jeeves website. Um, the Smack Jeeves website actually has earned us a little over $100 in about a year. So, I mean, it's really, really is very... The, the, the ads on the website really are really helpful and do remember that this Patreon isn't just for me it's also for my webcomic artist we split it this money about 50 50 and so that's why we have to have so much you know that hundred dollars a month or a hundred dollars every year is only about fifty dollars for each of us here at three hundred dollars I mean that's a hundred and fifty dollars a month for each of us and that is super helpful extremely super helpful um, but we no longer be dependent on the ads therefore uh, for those of you who do know Life of Alexis Perkins we do host it on two websites both Smack Jeeves or LifeAlexisPerkins.com because it's actually a premium webcomic on Smack Jeeves. Uh, we also have our Tapastic website, um, which heck if I know the link for that, it's like tapastic.com slash Life of Alexis Perkins. But in the course of the year that it's been up there, we've earned $12 off of the ads on that website. It, it really hasn't been helping. Um, but because of that, we have been slowing down the updates on the Tapastic site to try and get people over to lifeofalexisperkins.com and reading the webcomic there, thus generating more ad revenue, thus earning us a little bit more money that we can then use to keep the webcomic going as long as we can. Um, so with this amount, we would be able to take both comics, the Tapastic and the Smack Jeeves, the LifeAlexisPerkins.com, and update them at the same time. As the Tapastic is updating slower than LifeAlexisPerkins.com, and we would absolutely love for everybody on either website to read the comic the same day at the same time, Tuesday and Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But we're just not getting anything really off of the Tapastic ads um, and that unfortunately has hurt us in can, keeping the comic up there and keeping it going we have a much larger fan base over there which is the stupid part there's like 250 people reading the comic on Tapastic but even though there's only about 112 people on uh, lifeofalexisperkins.com, we're actually generating about 10 times the amount of ad revenue. And so that's why our legitimate website is updating more than Tapastic. Which is funny because most web comics will update their website slower than they will on Tapastic or Manga Magazine, I don't even know if that's still around, or things like that. 
they'll use those websites to generate more revenue and post them first and our website is earning us more money than the website that's supposed to be designed for the the more the more ad revenue so that's I don't know. I think that's pretty ridiculous. I think we should be earning a lot more off Tapastic, but I'm not gonna, you know, back talk them. I'm not gonna say anything bad about them because they're a really good website and I totally enjoy their service. It's just Google has more money, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, so these are the rewards. These are the things that you specifically get for your specific pledge. If you donate $1 a month, your name will be posted to everything that this Patreon goes to. It's on my DeviantArt page, it's on my uh, lifeofalexisperkins.com, um, I don't think I have it on Tapastic because they don't have a way that I can put people's names up. Um, Unfortunately, there's really no way to do that, um, which is another reason to support the life of AlexisPerkins.com website because you get your name up there as opposed to Tapastic. <laughs> um, I do these monthly update videos where at the end of the video I name off every single person who has donated through Patreon for that previous month. For the month of... For those who donated June 1st, I will be naming all of you off at the end of this video. Even if you only donated one dollar, you still get your name in a video every single month. Trying to do it at the beginning of the month. So probably the second most of the time because it looks like I have to wait a day for everything to process because it charges on the first. It looks like I have to wait till the second for everything to process, but I'm trying to do it real early in the month. Um, if not, I mean, it's what, the 5th? So it's still pretty early on in the month. Um, that said, you know, because I'm going to be naming you off, because of the fact that I'm going to be giving your name out there, if you have a preferred name that you want to be known as, please let me know. Patreon usually displays your real name. If that's not what you want to be stated, please let me know. I will use that instead. If you don't tell me, your real name will be out there. If you let me know though, then no problems. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, if you donate $3 a month, you gain all the previous benefits, which was getting your name everywhere. Um, you also get access to the completed versions of all of my fan fictions, um, all of my D&D campaigns I'm working on. Uh, this includes the Versamy handbook I'm working on, which has extra rules, races, classes, and things like that that are used specifically in what is called the Versamy universe. Um, this I actually have written wrong, but it's going, uh, I'm going to edit that, I just forgot to edit it before the video, um, but it's going to be that you get priority naming. Um, honestly, I've, if I see a name that I like on my Patreon, I will probably use it in any game that has um, things that I can name, like Pokemon. Um, if you've been watching my Soul Silver, you'll see that Rake and I think it was Alyssa. Uh, no, it was Rake and Violet. Um, both of them got their names in my Soul Silver run. Um, if I'm doing, let's say, Final Fantasy X, where I can name the Aeons. Um, again, it is a first come, first serve. It'll matter uh, the higher you donate. The more of, you know, the, the higher your name will be in me naming things. You know, if you donate $15 a month, your name will be one of the first ones I pick kind of thing, as opposed to a $5 a month or a $3 a month. But I will try to use all of the names if I can. You know, if there's only, what, 14 names, like in Final Fantasy X, I only have 14 names I can give out. 
So if I have 14 people donating at $3 a month, and then one person donating at 15 I mean, somebody at the $3 a month isn't going to get your name in, you know, in Final Fantasy X. But the point is that you're going to get priority naming. Your name will be chosen before I even think about any others. Um, that's why I've got Rake and I've got Violet in my Soul Silver run. They're names that I picked because they had priority naming here from Patreon. Um, if you donate five dollars a month, again you get all the previous benefits. Every single one is like that. If you donate this amount, you get everything from the previous. If you liked everything in the copper tier, the three dollar a month, but then you like stuff in the bronze, five dollars a month, you know, because you get everything of the one dollar a month and everything of the three dollar a month and the five dollar a month. And for the $5 a month, you gain access to the completed pages of any comic I'm working on. At the moment, it's just Life of Alexis Perkins. But if I can get enough money through Patreon, I can hire another webcomic artist. And I do have a lot of other ideas for webcomics. Um, you also gain access to the individual chapters of any fanfics that I'm writing. Um, before they go up, it should say. I just realized. Um, to post, you know, each chapter, in, you know, individually uh, for my fanfics. Uh, probably, I'd post it here, and then on DeviantArt or Fanfic.net or something. That's when you get it, uh, like a week later. Um, you also gain access to any work in progresses that I have of any of my D and D campaigns I'm writing, which means that if you donated five dollars a month. You could see the current version of the Dragon War, uh, Versamy Tales Dragon War Birth of the Dragon Men campaign. That's a long title, let me tell you. <laughs> um, at $5 a month, you also gain the ability to start voting on the next series that I do, uh, my Let's Plays on my YouTube channels, or anything else really. You know, you can, yeah, I might put up a uh, vote to say, do you want me to review a game? Do you want me to play a game? Do you want me to, um, I don't actually know what else you would do to be honest. <laughs> Theorize, that's it. That's what I was trying to think of. Theorize about a game, you know. Uh, is Luigi actually a villain, like Game Theory says? Well, let's look at the proof, you know. Uh, these are the kinds of things I want to do, reviews, um, game theories, things like that. I want to be able to do these, but until I can get enough money that I can dedicate more time to YouTube, I don't have the ability to do that. Um, so I will definitely be expanding. In fact, I should put that as a goal, shouldn't I? Make it like $100? I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, it'll be next month. <laughs> so, but like I said, you get the ability to vote on what I'm going to do next. Um, and, hey, that's pretty awesome. Uh, $10 a month, you get the silver tier. Everything from the bronze tier, which is everything from brass and copper tiers as well. You also gain access to all of the line arts that uh, are produced from the comics that I produce. Um, since right now Life of Alexis Perkins is done in color, you get access to both the color and the line art. The later line art always comes out about a day or so before the finished page. Um, you also gain access to any work in progresses of chapters of like fanfics that I write. So if I write like a third of a chapter, I will post that up here. You'll get access to that. You'll be able to see it, you'll be able to talk about it, and things like that. You know, because you're donating $10 a month. Um, you also can request any game that I actually own. Um, on this, I would message you and we talk and everything. And, you know, you would get the ability to, you know, I, I would list my games. And then you would say, okay, I want you to play 
uh, two hour session of Super Smash Brothers Brawl or something and then I would record that you know it would become a series probably record 15 20 minute segments something like that and I would post that up for you at 15 you get all the previous stuff from the silver tier and you gain access to the sketches of the comics that I produce again only life of Alexis Perkins right now but the more I can get the better the more money I can get the more I can start funding other comic artists and then they can start producing other comics um, you can request a multiplayer session with me with a game that I own and I'll record it uh, now this is only for two hours per month um, just like the previous section however there is a, a bonus side to this um, it's not just limited to multiplayer games you can request a multiplayer session with me on a single player game where you and I would play uh, or where I would play and you would be able to join in on commentary um, if you want to also do, if you want to do a multiplayer, obviously you're going to be in on commentary with that as well. So there you go. However, uh, this is the this is the uh, the twist, the bonus, if you will. Um, you can exchange that time for time for the original request. Um, back on the silver tier, you're able to request a game. Um, you can request up to four hours now of any game that I own and you don't get to join in on it obviously you know, because that's what the other perk is um, but I mean you get two hours of a game that I request and two hours of a multiplayer session with me or four hours of a game that you request I mean that's pretty awesome if you ask me so um, I mean that's personal opinion so don't go shout me down <laughs> um, platinum tier you get everything from the previous the gold tier this is for $25 a month gain access to all the scripts that I have of any comic that I'm producing you can request up to four hours of the multiplayer recording time instead of just two Again, you can exchange that. If you want six hours of me playing whatever game, you're free to request that six hours. Um, if you want three hours of that, and then three hours of a multiplayer, you can do that. You can exchange it however you want, basically. So, also, you know, I do do a comic, Life of Alexis Perkins. I keep saying it. I know, I'm probably getting annoying. Um, but you'll make a cameo as a background character with no lines in the comic. Um, and the, again, this does occur when cameos are available. Um, the current chapter in Life of Alexis Perkins, they're at Alexis's house. So I can't really throw you in as a cameo. But when they get back to the school at the end of the chapter, you know, uh, in the next, you know, in the next chapter, when they go back to the school, you would be able to get a cameo in the background of the school. Um, if they go out to the mall again, like they did in chapter four, you'll get a cameo there. Things like that. Um, and finally, the diamond tier, which is the final tier that I have. Though, if I get enough people pledging, I might think of something else too. Um, you get all the benefits of the previous tier. Again, every tier has that. So if you want every one of these benefits, it's right there for you. You know, you can request, you can actually request a game that I don't own, as long as the game is no more than $10. I do have to make some money off of this. And when you're pledging $50, Patreon takes a uh, like 3% fee off of that. And I'm only going to honestly see about $47 in the end. Um, so we'll round that down to $45 just for easy math. And then that has to be split between two people. So $15 per person, that's you know $30. And then that's what, $15 left extra. So 
probably split it like $15 or like 17 or 18 maybe $20 per person but whatever the idea is that you get to request a game I don't own as long as it's no more than $10 but if you are willing to pay more you know, if you're willing to pay anything that is above the ten dollars and if it's like ten dollars and six cents because of tax you know that's still ten dollars but if it's like twenty dollars flat out plus tax I mean that I still have to sit down and you know factor basically th think of it as you don't you don't have to worry about the tax if the game is $9.99 I'll handle the rest of the tax it's not a big deal and that's kind of what that extra like five dollars there or three dollars or whatever was left would go to you know it's forty five dollars so yeah that, ex that extra five dollars can help cover like tax and stuff like that um, also as I'm like just constantly going on here uh, also I will finish any game that you actually request um, that means that if you request, you know, Final Fantasy X, I will play at minimum of six hours of it. Um, if I don't finish it after that, then it'll be a matter of, you know, am I raging real hard on this game? Am I really struggling with this game? Is the game just boring and I'm not really a fan of it? If none of those are true, if I'm enjoying the game, having fun on it, you know, even if I'm like angry or something, but I'm still having fun, I will complete that game that you requested. Um, you can also exchange that for multiplayer time. I didn't put it on Nick. I wasn't exactly sure how to word it. Um, but basically it would just be an extra two hours, so six hours of multiplayer time. Or, you know, if you don't request the game to be multiplayer, then until I finish it, basically. I mean, six hours at 15, um, at 15 minutes per episode. I mean, that's 90 episodes? I don't think that's right. I think I did that wrong. That is very much not right. Um, that was... Because it's about four episodes per hour. So, yeah, that would, I, it would be six divided by four. So, no, that's still not right. I don't know how to factor that. You're looking at like... I don't know. I usually record eight videos in a two-hour period. So, I mean times a you know the, for every hour four videos times that by eight hours you got there you go 32 32 videos that's literally you donate fifty dollars a month and I will be playing that game for an entire month at a minimum so you will 100% get all of your money money's worth off of that so I mean, I think that's pretty awesome, being able to just be like, yo, for this month, I want you to play Sonic and the Secret Rings, which I absolutely detest, I might add, and will probably never play unless somebody requests it, <laughs> but I would finish Sonic and the Secret Rings, despite how much I hate it, if you requested it at $50 a month. So there you go. That is how dedicated I would be to figuring out how to beat the game, to getting it done, things like that. You know, unless I just absolutely cannot. And I've played Sonic and the Secret Rings for four or five hours and then got stuck. And so, I mean, you're getting a minimum of six hours, so I'm going to spend more time, which means I'm probably going to get past where I've always gotten stuck. Which means I may actually finish the game, you know? So there you go. <laughs> um, so those are the individual perks. And now is the time um, 
Everybody who donated this month will get your name in the video. Um, that said, the donators for this month, we have four. They are The Gentlemanly Rake, who is a good friend of mine. Um, and I am very thankful for his donation. Uh, Violet F, who is a awesome person. Um, I'm always thankful for her donation. Uh, we have Tessa N, who I don't actually know anything about because they never comment on anything. Um, but what can you do? Um, but even still, I am thankful for their donation. And uh, last month we had an Adam Borgia, Borgio, uh, Borgio, something like that. And I'm guessing that through the web comics that I do and things, they found their true self, which I would be, you know, really happy to hear. Um, she hasn't said, uh, but she has told me that to. Uh, put her name as Alyssa now, Alyssa Borgio. Um, so there you go. <laughs> um, so those were the four people that donated this month, and I am very thankful for their donation. Uh, I didn't say it with Alyssa, so I will now. I am very thankful for Alyssa's donation. Um, and if I didn't help Alyssa figure out who she is, I mean, I'm so glad that she was able to figure out who she is, so. So once again, I am thankful for all four of you guys' donations. It really helps out the channel quite a lot, and I just, I, I cannot say thank you enough. Um, you are very helpful. You are all wonderful people, at least I assume so, because I've never had any problems with any of you. <laughs> so... Um, that said, uh, I hope you enjoyed, uh, next month. Let's see if we can't hit that 25 goal, because I would absolutely love to be able to sit down, flesh out one of my D&D gods, and post it out there for you guys. Um, again, Please leave likes on the videos. If none, nothing else, at least on the first episode, it really helps those videos get found, and it really helps out the channel a lot. Um, I hope you enjoyed the music. The music was Dance of the Pixies. It's a royalty-free track that I found on Machinima Sound. Um, I don't know who it was by. It didn't say. At least not that I could find. Um, it just says Machinima Sound, uh, Dance of the Pixies, so, um, in fact, actually, a couple of the other Machinima Sounds do have artists on them. This artist is labeled as Machinima Sound, so maybe it's just their website, it's, maybe the website itself made it, I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed the music. I know I enjoy this particular track. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope that you continue to enjoy the videos that I'm going to be putting out this month. And I hope that you, you know, enjoy my channel enough. And like I say, if you want to check out any, check out my web comic. I know I've said it a lot of times, and you've had plenty of opportunities to stop and check it. But if you've been waiting till the end, wanting to watch the whole video and have completely forgotten at this point where the webcomic is at, it is lifeofalexisperkins.com. I will try to put a, a link in the video description. No guarantees though. Just going to be honest. I tend to forget that. Um, but I will try to put a link in the description. I may even try to put that link in the description otherwise. I think I have it here though. Yes, right there. Right next to the Twitch icon, my webcomic. So you can go there right on the front page. You can click that icon right there. Or again, I'm going to try to remember to put it in the video description below. So 
That said, thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody next time. As I always say, keep calm and keep honing on. Whatever that means. I still haven't figured out what that means, but I'm going to say it anyway because that's my tra trademark line. It's not actually trademarked, but whatever. That's my, that, that's my line, so keep calm and pony on everybody.